Okay, what's up guys? It's Flux, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Twixter in Sony Vegas. This has just been released recently, and I decided I'd do a tutorial on it. Because <clears throat> I thought it was pretty awesome. Anyways, you will need Sony Vegas Pro 10. No, later, or earlier, whatever. You do need you do need 10. It won't work on 9, 8, any of the other ones. So you need Vegas Pro 10. If you don't have that, there will be a link in the description to show you how to get that for free. Um and a tutorial on how to install it and all that and you also need the Twixter plugin installed so make sure you have that installed also there will be a link in the description on how to get that and install that so I got you guys covered on that so far now assuming you've got all that done I'm gonna open up my Sony Vegas I've got my clip ready to uh, do the Twixter on I know where I'm gonna do it so make sure you know that at least cut the clip know where you're gonna do the Twixter and all that figure that out now I'll go over here to video effects and you're going to scroll till you find Twixter which I've already got it <clears throat> highlighted so I'm just going to drag it in you're just going to drop it on your clip simple as that it's going to open up like this I'm going to make it a little bit smaller okay you're going to go to where it says speed with a little percent sign and it should be at a hundred that's the normal speed so you're going to click the little timer that says animate right next to it now this will create a little timeline down there and that's good exactly what we want. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so you guys can see everything. Okay, so you do want, this little, see this little padlock down here on the left? You do want that checked, so go ahead and have that checked. Because if you don't have that checked, when you drag this, it won't. See how it's making the video go when I drag this? You need that. So, make sure you have that checked. So I'm going to go to where I see him throwing this stun. Because that's where I'm going to do it, right when his arm like extends out to throw that stun. Alright, so right about what? Right there. Okay. So now you'll notice the speed is at a hundred. So what I'm gonna want to do is make a new keyframe. So press the add keyframe button right here. It's the little plus sign. The bottom. I'm gonna click that. It's gonna add a new new keyframe. Now don't adjust the speed yet. Leave that at a hundred because that's where it needs to be right now. So now you're going to zoom in a little bit, which, which you can do by pressing this plus sign down here. So zoom in. Now I'm going to find out where I want to start the Twixter. So right, right there is good. Right when his hand's opening up. Um, so now you're going to add another keyframe in. So press the plus sign again. And this time on this keyframe, on the second one, you're going to change the speed to anywhere between 5 and 10. Lower than 5, if you ask me, is way too fucking slow for just a little quick twixter. Over 10 is kind of a little too fast. So in between 5 and 10, so I'm going to do 8. Seems to be pretty perfect. Uh, press enter, so that should have uh, adjusted. Now you're going to press this minus sign to drag back out. Now you're going to go to where you want the twixter to stop. So I'm going to say right. Oh, and by the way, if your video cuts off and you're like, what the hell's going on? Drag it out a little bit more, just like that, like we are right now. So just drag it out, just grab the end, drag it. So now, anyways, back to what I was doing. I'm going to find where I want the Twixer to stop. And it's right about when, yeah, right there when the stun is like falling out of my hand. When my hand's out of the frame or out of the picture. Okay, so right there. Um, and if your screen's turning red and blue and techno shit, don't worry about it. So now you're going to make a new keyframe. Press it, and don't adjust the speed again. Leave that at 8, because you still need it at 8. And now zoom in again, just like I told you to last time. And now find another frame ahead. So like right, right, right there. That should be good. So just drag it a few seconds ahead, and now on this one, you're going to make another keyframe, so plus again, and you're going to change it back to 100. So on this fourth one, you're changing it back to 100% speed, so reg speed, and then you can go ahead and zoom back out, and guys, you are done. You have done the Twixter, so maybe I'll just go back and give you guys a little, little replay. Boom, right there, he's throwing this stun out. So there you go. That's what the Twixter should look like. If again, if your clip cut off, drag it out. So it goes, woo, woo, goes it out. There's some motion distortion, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's how you do do this Twixter in Sony Vegas. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope it helped. If it did, please, please, please like and favor it. Don't just watch this video. And even though it really helped you, don't don't do anything to it. That's gay. You must like or subscribe or something.
leave a comment I don't know do something it really helps go so yeah um, this has been flux I'm out peace look at that sexy dude sexy